Say his name. Julius Love. One more time, louder. Say his name. Julius Love. Here comes Fiorella. Thank you all for coming. I know many of you have come from very far away, and I know that takes time, money, and dedication to the cause. Um, why are we here? Why is Julian Assange so important? I hear from so many on the supposed left, why do these crazy Assange people focus so much on one man? He is but one man. What, is he, what does he mean? What is, he, what is his significance? The significance of Julian Assange is so much greater than him as a person. It is what he represents. Julian represents the ability of dissent, the ability of the human being to question the government and the entities that control this corporation of a nation, this, this just military base that we've become, this empire. The empire is falling. The empire is collapsing before us. And the reason these people are attacking us, are attacking independent media, people like NBC News, Fox, CNN, which has the most spooks working for them, by the way. Yeah. The reason they're attacking us is because we are actually winning. We are waking people up. We are a threat to their livelihood, to their propagandists, stenographers of the national security state. That is why they're coming for us. And if they come for him, they will come for every single one of us. That's why Julian is so important. Of course, he released so much vital information that opened the eyes of so many people to what this supposed great nation is. It is not a great nation. We are not free. If we cannot have watchdogs, look into what these people are saying. Look into the lies of this empire. Then we don't have freedom. In order to have any other thing that we need, right? Right now we are living in economic depression. It's going to get worse. We have a government that has given you scraps, given the American people absolutely nothing. $1,400 when they said it was 2000 They have given you no health care during a supposed pandemic. No health care? Seriously? In any other great nation in the world, people would be protesting, people would be holding their government accountable. But Americans are brainwashed. They are fed to believe these lies. Right now, we're trying to start a war with Iran. We're trying to say that Russiagate is real. Once again, it's back. Russiagate in 2020. Putin colluded with Trump once again. They can't take accountability for anything. And who is opposing those false narratives? They're not opposing those narratives. They are they are the ones spreading them. The reason that Julian is so important is because he has inspired millions of people, including myself, to actually be truth tellers, to actually be real journalists, cover real stories, challenge the status quo, challenge the empire. Without people like Julian Assange, we wouldn't have this information. We wouldn't have the inspiration. We wouldn't have the means to come out here today and say enough. This is ridiculous. This is cryptic fascism. In the last few months, we've seen the marriage of big tech, mainstream media, and the corrupt officials in our government, the war criminals in our government that get away with killing people day in and day out. The people who just bomb Syrians, the people who literally allow Israel to drop bombs on Palestinians to attack them. And then when they retaliate, they say they're a bunch of terrorists. See, there's no disconnect between these issues. Press freedoms allows us to watch and go after the empire, which allows us to point out the war crimes, which allows us to fight for issues that matter to all of us. We need to stop thinking that these issues are separate. There is no separation between our domestic and our foreign policy. There is no separation between what Assange means for press readings, for dissent. There is a war going on right now. There is a, a war against truth and dissent. And that war is one that must be fought, not necessarily with violence, but with more dissent, more 
speech. More! Uh, we do not combat bad speech with less speech, with censorship, with only the way to destroy bad speech and bad narratives is with more speech. That's why we need to protect these freedoms and as somebody that's attacked by the mainstream media that is called a Russian asset, an Assadist, a alt-right collaborator, uh, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous that we've come to this point and now more than ever, when people like NBC, CNN, Fox, the New York Times, all of these people are paid to lie to you and then they go and steal our footage. Our footage right now is being used by the government in an indictment. And guess what? They didn't give us credit. They didn't even say our names. And they are using this footage for their own narratives. And we don't get recognized as real media. We get demonetized. Our channel is demonetized. Why? Oh, gee, I wonder why. Because we talk about issues that are a threat to their little narrative. And how, how do three people of a channel that we, ha that we have, how do these three people cover something that their reporters couldn't cover? They have to resort to our footage and our work to validate their own narratives because their own people are doing the job. <laughs> That's right, Glory, we're not little bitches. We are not niches or bitches. And we are here today representing what real media should be. Because if these people were doing their jobs, we wouldn't have to be here. We wouldn't have to sit here, stand here, and have this, this discussion. But we're at a point where, like I said, we're at war, and we have to fight. We have to have to fight and raise awareness over this issue. There is a good amount of people here, but there needs to be thousands of people in the streets. Thousands of people. We need to stop this idea that Julian is one person. He represents every single one of us. And for all of us and him, we need to fight for his freedom. So free Assange, okay? Fuck the CIA. Fuck censorship. Fuck the national security state. And fuck the FBI. Thank you very much. NBC, Fox, I know you heard that shit. Come down here with our check. Okay. Use our motherfucking footage. Get your ass down here with our check. Um, so we were here on January 6th, as were you, and we just filmed, basically we were just filming what was going on, right? And then uh, they took from our live stream a 30 second clip and they started using it where the two gentlemen that are right now under an indictment by the State Department said, oh, get the bear mace. And they're investigating the uh, Brian Sicknick death. Initially, the New York Times claimed that Brian Sicknick died as a result of being hit by a fire extinguisher. That turned out to be false. The New York Times had to basically correct their story and kind of retract it. Um, and now they're using that to say that this is the key moment where these people admit that they are going to use this on the police officers. They're trying to say that led to his death. So this is the most important footage right now that is being used on CNN, CNBC, ABC, Fox, and pretty much every major news outlet. The only outlet that notified us and the reason we knew is the Washington Post. They emailed us and said, hey, can we use your footage? Uh, we can compensate you and we were like what footage like what and like we realized that we saw the indictment We saw the whole thing and we're like crap. Holy crap. Let's see who else is using it turns out. They're all using it It's one of the most important uh, stories right now and the fact is we're demonetized entirely We're not making any money off of YouTube and We're being censored in this way because this is what we do. This is our profession We're independent media journalists and we like we, we you know we do this because we want to spread the, the truth and now they're using it for their own narrative and they're not compensating us and they're demonetizing us youtube and our officials work in tandem they work together so it's kind of like being slapped in the face and they're giving credit to the state department for the footage when the state department got it from us so we're fighting 
um, against censorship now more than ever. So, I mean, this is what we're talking about, but how does it make you feel to sort of have the networks essentially monetizing your content, putting it on their network with right. ads and stuff, like, and then YouTube telling you you can't make money from it? Yeah, I mean, it feels like a very uh, unfair, obviously, fascistic situation. They're in bed with the, the mainstream media is in bed with all of the YouTube and Google and big tech. I mean, this is proof of that. They tell us on one end, we get strikes for any copyrighted material, right? But they can just freely use our footage and claim that, oh, it's just, uh, what is it, fair use act. Um, so it makes us feel like they don't think of us as actual media. And we need more rights for independent media because we are the ones actually telling the truth. There's a reason they shut your entire channel off of YouTube. There's a reason you're just not even, you're not even giving commentary. You're just shooting what's going on. I mean, that is, if, if that is a threat to the status quo, then there's a there's something that they're doing that's wrong. They're not here to tell the truth. They're here to propagandize a certain narrative, right? And so that makes me feel that more than ever, we have to fight harder for the truth. And that's why we're here, and that's why we're supporting Julian Assange, because he is a representation of all of us. He is a threat, and so are we.